Hello, Todd Long, Carolina Realty World, CarolinaRealtyWorld.com. So, this is a public service announcement video today. I um, we we go through our general update. We as a real estate agent in North Carolina, we have to take eight hours of CE every year, two different classes. One is a general update, and one's a um, an elective that you can take. But usually, in our general update class, they're telling us things that are happening that we need to be aware of a lot of times it's about scams or have there's some wire fraud scams going on right now that are just crazy you know, they're getting away with this stuff but the one that really stuck out in my mind at that time and I said I'm gonna do a video about this um, and I didn't and I'm doing the video today because something has come up with this particular scam so the scam goes like this house is listed on the MLS for sale the scammers take all the pictures off the MLS, they take the description off the MLS, they take the agent's name even off the MLS, and they post it on a different website like a Craigslist and say, we had our house for sale and now we decided we're gonna rent it out. Um, they start communication with the potential um, victim and then they convince them to send them money in the mail and then they will meet them at the house to give them the keys, let them do the walkthrough, but they gotta pay their security deposit or something up front. Well, today I get a call from a lady that is out in front of one of my listings, happens to be a house that I also own, but my sign's out front. She calls me, she's like, hey, I'm calling about this house you have for rent. No, it's not for rent, it's for sale. Well, I've been talking to this person online and Anita, she says that it's for rent. And I said, that there's nobody by the name of Anita in, in involved with this deal at all. So she proceeded to tell me she's living in a hotel, a bad hotel with her kids, and she's just desperate to find a place for rent. It's a really sad story, and, and the lady's gonna rent it for to her for $400 a month. It was a great deal. Deal's too good to be true, you know. Often that's the case, right? But, because this thing's rented for $800 a month for years. So I explained to her that this is a scam, don't send this lady anything, and I had her forward me the text message and such that she's been getting with this person, and you know, person sounds legit. Um, but I gave her the phone number that they gave us in our general update. If you are getting, if you know somebody that's getting scammed like this, please give them the number for the North Carolina Attorney General and turn it into the scam department, and that phone number is 877-566 seven two two six or nine one nine seven one six six thousand and we have got to get some people involved to stop these scammers from doing this to people I mean they're taking these people's money the the the, the text message stream from this particular person said um, we live out of state now so send me the first month's rent of four hundred dollars I'm not gonna collect a security deposit from you once I get your four hundred dollars I'll mail you the keys I mean, come on. But here's the thing, and this is my this is my call to action for my people that um, you know who you are when I tell you this. I'm gonna give you the phone number that this person persons is texting from, and I want reverse action to happen to this phone number. 412-346 8396 that is the telephone number for the scammer that is trying to take money from people that don't deserve to have their money taken from them so people 412 346 8396 do with that number what you wish the worst the better <laughs> have a great week